All right. Well, I think it's go time. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. What's up? It's Remington. Appreciate you, Remington. You're the man. How should I position this? How do y'all want it? That sounds some kind of way. Y'all want it to the side? I think this will just have to do because um, I want you guys to be able to see the whole thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, gang. Hey, guys. It's me, Remington. I'm at Colin's apartment right now, and I think it's time we found out what happened with him and Annalie. So I'm going to go find out. <laughs> Remington with the I wasn't actually invited face. I'm here at Colin's house. And he doesn't know it. Colin, oh! Yeah, and they just got full up jeans on. Hey, what up, Colin? <laughs> Remington and Colin been so nice to me. I'm, I like, I feel the need to hold back, but bitch, if this don't look like an ad for Grinder, <laughs> if it don't, I mean, come on, man. Gaze in the chat. Am I lying, Colin? <laughs> Oh, shit, man. Remy, get out. <laughs> oh, you guys shot this off, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> get out. <laughs> oh, man, I'm fucking with y'all, man. What happened with you and Emily? I don't want to talk about it. What the, what the fuck I say? What the fuck I say? This fool bro breaking in. He broke in. You broke in. Big uninvited energy. Stan Twitter. That's your meme right there. When I catch someone saying that Luna is not as good as BTS or whatever the fuck, that's it right there. It's actually a great meme right there. So are you and Elena dating? Remy, get out of here. No. Oh! On God? Oh man, Remy can't. Sh he he's pissed, man. He's like, well, fuck it. Come on, man. It's just a bit. You had to make it weird. Come on, man. Remy, get out of here. No. <laughs> Y'all laid up, funky, man. So did you guys break up? Remy, get out of here. Oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> Dude, Noel, I'm loving these jeans. Yeah, no, they're super nice. That's Cap. He capping. That's Cap. Yeah, no, the... Is that Noel Miller? Remy, can yeah, you get him no, my number? No, Remy. Remy on a tirade. All have been Collins booty, and he's like, give Noel my number, too. Colin, what happened with you and Annalie? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's actually funny. All right, Colin, we all want to know. What happened with you and Annalie? All right, I'll tell you guys. So we dated for a little bit, but she's going to go on a mission. So it's just not going to work out that way. Uh, okay, but we saw you and Ellen in Hawaii. Is that a thing? That was just a coincidence. What if Colin just flipped the script right there? He was like, yeah, I fucking, I nut in her pussy. <laughs> Well, what about Ellen? You guys are in Hawaii. Yeah, I nutted that bitch pussy. Oh, God. She wasn't on a pill pregnant twice. So you're telling me that all of season one was a waste. Remy, you're not exactly the best matchmaker. <gasps> Let's try this one more time. <gasps> He's the Mormon Thanos. That's crazy. First up, only white women laugh like that in pharmaceutical commercials. <laughs> Stop it. Where the fuck did they shoot this, man? Fucking castle? What, what the hell is this? Wait, hey, 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 hey. Is this the Game of Thrones spinoff? What is this, man? Mormon Game of Thrones. It's uh, five women competing for one eligible man. Hi there, and welcome to Provo's Most Eligible Season 2. 
I'm here at Sleepy Ridge Golf Course where we'll be filming every week for the next six weeks as we help our three bachelorettes find love. My man's is doing it right. You you heard that you you heard that fucking ad right there? We're here at the beautiful Sky Ridge Golf Resort in Provo, which you can stay at. More details on that later. Now, today, we begin a journey of three bachelorettes finding their husband. Specifically, a husband tailored in an all-over people suit. I'm Lauren Hunter. I'm 24. Hey, these ladies are like, they're like the big three of Provo. You know what I'm saying? There's like Steph Curry, <laughs> Clay Thompson, <laughs> KD. My name is Elizabeth, but I go by B, like the bug. Damn, she got a she got a Caucasian gang name. <laughs> she got a gang name, bro. I wonder if she got that from the church or keying somebody's car. My name is Ellie. I am 19 years old, and I was born and raised in Utah. The G girls, where y'all at? I'm gonna say this: the one you like. She kind of got that Ellen Page energy, and I feel like y'all gonna be fucking with that. I like dance parties, I like country swing dancing, but like right now I am on this huge salsa kick. She says salsa kick. I just found out what salsa is. It is so good. <laughs> like if I can just hold a baby all day, I would. Absolutely I would. I would, I would learn how to do things one handed so that the other hand could be holding a baby. These Mormon girls want to get fucking pregnant right away, bro. Right away. They got that look, like they see a baby and it's like, I want it, mine, mine. I really like war movies and things like based on true stories. I don't know, I just like the, the intensity and the gore. She a freak freak. She's like, yeah, I like stuff based on true stories and blood. As long as I'm with good people, I'm down to do pretty much anything, as long as it's not illegal. <laughs> she knew I was going to say it. She knew I was going to say it. She cut me off quick. As long as I'm with good people, I'm down to do whatever. Oh, yeah, what about crack? As long as it's not illegal. Aww. And I like eating until I hate myself. If you don't hate yourself, you're not done. <laughs> Clip that. Clip that and pin that to the top of Cody's Twitter. <laughs> I like her, man. She's real. I like blood and I like eating until I hate myself. She's real, man. I'm fine with, um, you know, behaviors that make me hate my self-image and, and question who I am as a person. <laughs> yeah, until you get a little bit sick. And then that's when I'm satisfied. I know I'm not the only one, though. You love doing that, too, just a little bit, don't you? Bruh, she got personality, bruh. Get out of here, man. This is a, we're off to a, a very strong start. Consider the last season where all these chicks was like, I like uh, uh, praying and thinking about um, how I could contribute to the church. She's like, I'm Mormon, and I also like to fucking gorge food. I like to stuff myself until I'm going to explode. And I just do that. Start finish repeat once a week and you do it too bitch don't lie that's what we need i did have one boyfriend for three months in high school and then we were really off and on for about a year on and off means he just hitting you up when he's had a few that's all on and off means <laughs> we're, we're on and off i mean his phone is on and off that's the problem his phone is on and off sometimes it's on sometimes it's off i don't i don't know but when it's on i answer you know what i mean so i was married and i met my ex at byu idaho when i was 19 and we dated a year i got married at 20. things got pretty crazy i kind of just realized i couldn't raise a family in that environment divorced at 22 that's some heavy shit that means you went to the lawyer and well yeah because they were married they weren't just engaged so that's like you know what i'm saying that's in it in it in it here we go this is what we want to know um i'm like a very outgoing like fun funny weird person but i love being around people who are that way too like it's really important 
for me to be around somebody that can like help me unwind and just make me laugh. Make me forget, take me away from eating myself into oblivion, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh man, I like her the best. I, you know, I don't want to trash her too hard. I tend to go into relationships pretty seriously and I'm a really committed person. So when someone isn't committed and they're not willing to put in the same amount of effort and affection into it that I am, then that's a really big deal breaker for me. She looked to camera when she said that shit. This is supposed to be an interview. She's like, I put in a lot of effort and I don't fuck with y'all lazy ass, non-committal ass boys. So if you don't jump in both feet, then I don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, I'm 24, but I'm very much a kid at heart. I feel like I'm 21, and I don't feel like I have been married. Damn, you say that like you fucking 80. Get out of here, man. What has this city done to your mind? Yeah, I'm 24. Yeah, I'm an old ass bitch, but I am still a kid at heart. You young as hell. Here's the difference between 21 and 24. 21. Fuck, I need a job. I have no responsibilities, but also no money. 24. I have all these responsibilities and they take all my money. I need a better job. Fuck. <laughs> I've liked a lot of different people, but I would definitely say I have a type. And that is like dark hair, dark skin, dark eyes. I like tall, dark, handsome. That was the weirdest way of saying Mexican dudes. Just say what's up, man. You like a Mexican guy. <laughs> um, I love Diet Coke. I buy McFlurries a couple times a week. What was the motherfucking question? What do you want guys to know about you? Oh, she's like, bitch, I like soda. I think I'm pretty fun. A little, a little crazy, but like a fun crazy. Crazy, not like a, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. Like, I'm not a psycho kind of crazy, but like a fun one, you know? I'll key your car, but I love you. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a fun little key. It's just like a little, mm, call me back. Why aren't you answering? Mm. How is, I don't even understand how she's Mormon, bruh. She don't sound Mormon at all, man. She sounds like she's bursting at the seams with like things. Sometimes I do have a little bit of a potty mouth and sometimes I don't really care. Ooh, she says the bad words like frick and fuck. With time, I've figured out what I deserve and I know what I deserve because I know what I'm willing to give to a relationship. You hear that, fellas? That strong woman energy right there. I know what the fuck I deserve. Not no little dick to <laughs> Tommy Mormon. I want a man. Hey, listen, I'm not, okay, I don't want to speak too fast, but I was going to say, you know, she's saying all this shit about what she deserves and, and all that, and women typically learn that after their dad leaves, okay? And now it's not always that way, but that's just the vibe I'm getting, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna need it, yeah, Keo. I'm gonna need a dad vibe check. I'm gonna need a vibe check. All right. Oh yeah. I'm just saying, okay. That's the shit your therapist has to tell you. Just because your dad left doesn't mean that you are the pro. And you're like, yeah, it's me, and I gotta stop talking to these men and acting like I'm the issue when I deserve. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So as you know, we've been doing things a little bit differently this season. Now our 30 gentlemen have chosen one of the girls that they want to meet, and we're going to see who matches with who. So let's go take a look. Okay, you ready? <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> the first motherfucker is Skylar. I would expect nothing less that the first dude on Provo is fucking Skylar. God damn it, bruh. I think he's too old for me. Uh, she said, get the fuck out of here, bruh. My man is a, what? You can't be on this show. You don't look fit for this show. You look like fit for the real Bachelor. Is he 5'7"? Oh, 5'7". Yep, there it is. There's no way he gonna get it in with the 19-year-old. They're just on two opposite worlds right here. If I'm 28 and I'm walking into a show and the oldest person there is 24, I'm, I'm walking right out. I'm gonna just... A word? Ha! <laughs> GM. Hey man, I appreciate you bringing me on the show, but there's a lot of kids in here, and I, I'm gonna I'm a go. Appreciate you. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. <laughs> Lord, so good to meet you finally. 
Well, hey, listen, I'm here on a tandem bike. I came by myself, but I'm hoping by the end of this, it'll be you and me strolling out of here, all right? Is that okay? He came in there just like how he did at work. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing, Rachel? Yep, this is our new tandem bike. It's a Schwinn. Um, it's wonderful. I, I love the, the construction quality. Very strong. Um, I'll be over there at the desk. You guys let me know if you need anything. Um, thanks, for, thanks for stopping in the store. Uh, good, good, good to meet you. I'm pretty sure that's James the Mormon, like the rapper guy. What? Oh, I've heard that name. Wait, should we read the bio? James, yeah. Yeah, I'll read it. Okay, things I don't want. Number one, another pretty face. Number two, just anyone to hold. Number three, my love to go to waste. They got Mormon Drake on the show. <laughs> he gonna come in with his voice auto-tuned, just fucking. Tell me, have you heard that lately? Uh, my name is James. I'm 32 years old. My man's. I rest my case, bruh. I rest my case. I rest my case. I'm an entrepreneur. I've built and sold multiple businesses. Uh, it kind of, it really does hold me back in dating. You, bro, you getting money? You could rap? You got a career? Why the fuck you here fucking a kid, man? I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he doesn't know. I right? Maybe he doesn't know. Hello, Hi. James. Hi, James. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. You look super dapper. Wow. I'm loving it. I <laughs> think you look beautiful as well. Thank you so much. Yeah. How do you feel about Connect Four? I usually win, so if you like to lose, then... Oh, okay. <laughs> My name is Keaton Hill. I'm from Gilbert, Arizona. I would say like my interests are like four things whenever people ask that, like sports, movies, uh, comedy, and politics. My man listed every box on a dating website. Let people know about your common interests. Uh, sports, the sky, um, Hell yeah. air. The reason I'm like doing this show is because, you know, I, nothing's worked in the past, so why not just throw cameras in my face and then see if I find the one. Oh, this is the boy? All right, man. I ain't even finna clown him, cause he's doing this for the he's doing this for the likes. Next, we moving on. Right. Uh, ready? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Somebody leave the kettle on. Did somebody leave the kettle on? That shit was crazy. Oh, okay. Y'all heard that? Hello. 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 There is nothing that brings out the crazy in a girl faster than a dog, bro. Women are very composed until a dog hits the room, and then it's just... <gasps> Dogs be making women go nutso. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so here's just a cute little dog. Oh, hello. Oh, she a freak. She kissed that dog right on the mouth. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, his name's Bo. Oh. Australian oh. Shepherd mix. It was tough because the dog started like barking like right in the middle of it and so like we did there was very little chit chat it was like oh there's a cute puppy and then that's it but i mean she's she's gorgeous and so how do we feel about this big bicep picture mm, do we like it <laughs> we get it bro you gotta watch Okay, it's fine. We're fine. Look at my little, look how creepy this man is. <laughs> this one looking like the Slender Man. Just fucking. No one has matched with the baby yet, so good on these boys. I, I respect these men for not, um, not giving in. I, I recall my criticism thus far. I don't know. I don't know. We have yet to see. I figured I couldn't go wrong with giving you chocolate, good old American chocolate, because it's your 100% love language. So here you go. Hope you enjoy it tonight. My I ain't even. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Honestly, I think I walked in and I was had good posture, and she probably thought I was a good-looking guy and was excited to meet me. Mm, mm, mm. Only, only a goofy ass dude like this. Uh, I had great posture. <laughs> Who the fuck walks away from talking to a lady like I had great posture? You know what? She may not have liked how tall I was, but I'll tell you what. She's never seen posture like that before. <laughs> My name is Justin Borgothas, or Justin Alphabet. My man's last name is an Icelandic geyser, Borgothas. I'm studying business. I also am an actor. I've worked with Disney Channel. I've worked with Paramount. I had three steady girlfriends. Um, one was Spanish, one was a ginger, one was blonde. 
Oh, this man be fucking. Yeah, I've been with a Spanish bitch. I've been, I've been with a ginger. I'm an actor. You know, I've done some stuff with Disney Channel. So, you know, being on camera is no big deal to me. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I'll see what this show's about. I'll see what's up. I'll see who, um, if anybody really catches my eye. You know what I mean? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> they just ain't his ass. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm Look, fantastic. All we trying to do is see what these guys are about. So my name's Brandon Vance. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, as far as unique talents go, I, I uh, sometimes think I, I'm a pretty good freestyle rapper. <laughs> nope, I'm out. I might not have a beat to go right now, but you know that I'm staring at your eyes and how can I stand here and not say you're pretty today? Oh man, I just like to say hey. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh! This man rhyming with the letter A. Okay, I'm ready. One, two, three, swipe. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Give me a chicken sandwich and some waffle fries. Now he matches with 19. I'm up the fuck out of here. I got a match. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, bruh! I got something you can't tell! Red-headed motherfucker, you going to jail! Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Dude should start rapping Bible verses to atone for his sins. <laughs> Him and uh, Drake finna have a rap battle. I'm Caleb. I'm from San Diego, California, and uh, 24 years old. Just graduated from BYU, actually, mechanical engineering. My man look 34 fucking A. Hey. Uh, oh. <laughs> look, we, we look cute. Good. How Bet you they end up together. Bet you. They just look like a proper Facebook couple. Oh, yeah, sorry, no gimmicks, no one-liners. Um, just looking forward to being your friend and getting to know you better. That is that is salesman game right there. Hey, um, <laughs> listen, I'm I'm not with the bullshit. Um, I'm not like all these other losers with bikes and all that goofy shit. Um, so if you want to talk to a man, I'm here. I'm pretty sure that I've met this kid at a party. I've met him at a party I'm too. I'm not a fan of that duck face. <laughs> All right, we got the Mormon TikTok boy, Walker Wright, this fool. <laughs> you want to talk about Riverdale? This fool's a Riverdale character right here. Walker Wright. Um, I speak a little bit of Chinese and Portuguese just from my mission. Bruh, tell me this ain't uh, Mackenzie, whatever the fuck her name is from the last season. They no, got the same I face. They got the same. Bobby of pizza. Bruh, it's her brother? It's her brother. That makes sense. They got the same motherfucking face, bruh. I do parkour and I speak Mandarin. Let me tell let me tell you how to say I want my dick sucked in Mandarin. Let's do this. Honestly, <laughs> I'm so ready. You sound nervous as hell, bro. Okay, you ready? Oh, did you do summer sales? I think so. 19 is like smashing that like. She just I've been wrecked by people like him before, but I don't know, that's I've been wrecked by people like oh, him yeah. before? Uh, wrecked? I've had little men like him mix my guts. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at a crossroads here. We done fucked around too much. And um, I got to go to this fucking meeting, bro. We're stopping at 22 minutes. We gonna be back. We're gonna finish this shit up. We gonna clown these motherfuckers. And we gonna get it in. I love y'all very much. Let's go.